My name is Law Murray, and I hope you had a happy St. Patrick's Day. Considering it was probably the driest St. Patrick's Day ever. Liquor stores closed across the country, bars are closed. If you're in Boston, you had to watch Tom Brady be like most Americans, decide to move to Florida and retire. I don't know if I should be impressed or straight up concerned about the level of common sense that is becoming mainstream. Of course, I'm talking about people always saying, wash your hands. I mean, we should have been doing that anyway. And now it's like the thing to tell everybody. What I'm talking about. So someone reached out to me, wanted to get on the phone for, you know, a networking call, just some guidance. And, you know, I provided what I could. And at the end of the conversation, they're like, hey, make sure you wash your hands. I'm like, damn. I was, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I will, I, will, I will make sure to do that. That is the thing to, to, to say, you know. Wash your hands, wash your hands. It's like, oh, you're at Autotopia Disneyland and, and you're being reminded to watch your kids. It's like, thank you. If you didn't say that, I would never consider watching my kids. We are at this point, people, where I would not be surprised if wash your hands shows up in the people's work email signatures. Kind of like the word best or sent from an iPhone. Something that, that's been bugging me is when, you know, a, a beloved public figure, they say, I've caught the coronavirus. And everyone says, no, not Tom Hanks, not the sexiest man alive. And I'm just like, I mean, no, we don't want them to get sick. We don't want anybody to get sick, right? And so you're just like, you know, let's keep it general, maybe? I don't know how to say it. It almost feels like Animal Farm. Like, everybody's equal, but some are more equal than others. That don't, that don't come off well to me. You know? What kind of person do I look like saying, No! Not Tom Power! Not George Strombolopoulos! Anybody but Strombo! For my Canadian friends, of course. It reminds me of sports when people will be like, you know, the league is better when this team is good. And the first thing that comes to my mind is, y'all ain't like the league when the Cleveland Cavaliers were good? All right. I finally stepped out the house for the first time in almost a week. It's like a brand new world out there. I got my hair done, they shot me with the Purell, like, as soon as they were like, hey, hey, this is what we doing now, I was like, oh, you know, I'm cool, I understood, I understood, you know. I went to pick up some wings, I was surprised they didn't spray me with some Lysol as soon as I entered the door. But I'm encouraged, I think that we're taking coronavirus seriously and we're going to get through this together. Wait, what, what happened in Florida? What are you looking at? This is... Oh, wow. A lot of people. So if you think that the beaches are being impacted here by coronavirus, uh, by COVID-19 and by the new cases yes. that are emerging here in Florida, this is this is Clearwater Beach here, everybody. Say that looks like Clearwater. And one of, the, one of the questions that we were asked here earlier was whether or not the beaches were going to be impacted by what's going on here with... Uh, with coronavirus in the state of Florida. By the by the looks of it, this looks to be a pretty busy yes. day here at the beaches. A lot of people here in the water. We know that Miami Beach and Fort Lauderdale Beach and some others in South Florida have closed. The name of the town is Clearwater and these people can't stay clear from the water. Let me go tighten the do-rag before we on lockdown.